So I'm back with another budget build, however, this would be the best search budget build you would ever find, probably. And for two reasons, because when I was making this build, I decided on two things. I would make a build that would have the least amount of drawbacks and would should slap just as hard as best in slot, so it should deal the same damage as best in slot and have the least amount of drawbacks. This would be a special build, but you know what else is special? The amount of people subscribing. 2-9%? Like seriously? You're making me look bad. 300 subscriber channel getting 10 of thousand of views. You're making me look like I'm like botting views or something. Come on, make it make sense. Don't get me banned just because you're fusing to subscribe. Come on, just press it. It's not gonna cost you a kidney. Let's start with this build. So, as I mentioned, it should slab just as hard as best in slot. So first, let's see what's best in slot. So, as everyone know, like, it's just... This is a decent amount of spec. What I expect an average player to have. This is the same amount of crit I expect an average player to have. And this is the best in slot I expect an average player to have. So how can we do the same damage as this while making it 10 times cheaper? The answer is easy. I mean, it's not easy, but I would make it easy for you. We would give up spec. We would give up 400 spec. We would invest that into crit. So we would have 900 crit and 1200 spec. You might think I'm crazy. Yeah. And you would say, wait, that would just make us crit more, but it would reduce the damage of surge tremendously. That's true. However, spec is not the only thing we are going to give up. We are going to give up one of the most expensive ingredients to get with surge, which is adrenaline. And you might say, why? Like, it's 15% crit and 6% damage. Not 6% damage, more like 6% attack power that does not translate to 6% damage because it's additive. We would swap it with Keen Blunt. So the build would be something like this. So it should be something like this. So basically the damage we would be missing from the spec, we would make it up with the damage difference between Keen Blunt and Adrenaline. Because Keen Blunt is 50% crit damage, and that's way more than 6% attack power, so it would deal like at least 10% more damage than Adrenaline. However, we would be missing the 15% crit. But guess what else is 15% crit? 400 crit that we would add to the crit. So we would get 2 crit rings, we would put Surge on both crit rings to make it cheaper, and as you know, the most expensive accessories to get is the one that have like the class ingredient. So we will get the two rings to have surge on them, so it would have three surge. So you don't even need legendary surge, you only need purple like book for surge. You don't need the legendary one that is the most expensive. And let's let's see the prices. For example, ambush five, surge three, for example. Look at that, 500. Let's see, yeah, it's it's 500, however this is a bid. And I expect it to sell at like 1 or 2k since that's what they go for. Let's do Kim Blunt for example. See, it's 7k. This is actually more, that's too expensive for a crit ring because I usually get this kind of rings for 2k, 3k. So it shouldn't be 7k, it's too expensive for it, but you get the idea. It's really cheap to get a crit ring. Now you would be wondering how much damage do you lose on surge? Uh, like I don't mind showing you. Let me just max the crit so we can like uh, have a guaranteed crit to compare it between the best slot and this build. So as you saw, it dealt almost 52 million. Okay, now let's see the, the best in slot build, which is like the full spec. So, as you saw, it deals almost like 1.3 million more. So, one, just one extra million. But guess what? Your basic skills will slap way harder than the full spec. Because you have Kimblant, not Adrenaline. So, 
you would have potential to deal more damage than Beast and Slot. And the only drawback, and I repeat, the only drawback is the orb generation and that's it. That's it basically. I'm going to show you orb generation now. So we will see how much it takes to generate full orbs with normal full spec build. So it takes 4 skills to generate full orbs. Now let's see how much it takes to generate full orbs with 400 less spec. So the only difference is that you would need to invest an extra skill. You also might think it might affect the cooldown reset from the orbs, well, thankfully it doesn't, so your rotation would not be affected, I already tested. So if you liked it, you want me to experience on other classes, since I have been giving my full focus on that blade, then subscribe. Then I might check other classes, if we get 500. I might make builds for other classes too. So that's it for today.